Joining us now here on the MMA Report on Radio Influence, man's going to be returning to the Bellator cage coming up on Saturday night, January 21st. Bellator 170 is going to take on Georgie Carajanian. It is Emmanuel Sanchez. Emmanuel, how's it going? I'm doing well, my man. How are you doing? Doing very good. I appreciate you taking some time out here as we're talking. We're uh, 10 days out from the fight. So, uh, you know, what, what's, what you know, in terms of preparation, is pretty much everything done for this fight, and now it's just about the fine-tuning and the weight cut? Um, yeah, you know, the fine tuning, uh, uh, you know, little skills, and, uh, yeah, just focus on getting the weight down, staying healthy, and, uh, still training hard, of course, but, uh, just getting ready to rock and roll. First time we, we're we going to see you inside the Bellator case since uh, July of last year. You're supposed to fight back in December. However, uh, you, you had to pull out of that fight. Uh, you know, what went to that decision of the reason of saying, you know what, uh, I, I should not be fighting here? Uh, man, it, it just sucked so bad. It happened uh, the week before the fight, you know. Had it happened, you know, a few weeks before, I would have been like, yeah, I would have tough this out. And it made it happen and healed, you know, uh, in, you know, in time to still cut it out and fight, you know, because I need to fight. That's how I survive for myself. But because it happened the week before the fight, I couldn't um, fight to my whole potential. You know, I mean, I need, you know, we're fighting out there, we're fighting at the highest level, and we fight to provide for ourselves and put food on the table. And I was completely unable to do that. So now, um, Thank God that I uh, needed that time to just rest up, get better, and I got rebooked, man. My dreams have come true. I got rebooked, and, uh, you know, right away, and now I'm just uh, I'm ready to shine. I mean, no disrespect to, to A.J. McKee Jr. here, but this, this is a bigger matchup for you, Georgia Carhagen. Obviously, everyone knows what George has done uh, throughout his time in MMA, but in terms of, of styles, how, how is uh, preparations for Georgie different than the preparations were for A.J.? Well, I wouldn't say there's that much of a, a difference at all because, you know, I train with some of the best guys in the world in my academy, you know. I got Tyron Woodley, who's shorter than me, UFC welterweight champion. I got Gerald Mearshard, who just made his UFC debut, the middleweight, who is, you know, 6'2". And uh, I have just a vast, uh, what I say, different diverse body type uh, at uh, my academy. So, and I'm training with all of them all the time. You know, whether I have a fight or not, I'm saying, oh, okay, yeah, I'm going to train with the softball. Yeah, I'll train with this regular. Oh, I'll train with the short guy, the tall guy, the fat guy, whatever, you know. My motto has been, as far as the opponents go, short or tall, big or small, they all will fall. Do you prefer to train with the, with guys that weigh uh, at much more than you? Or, you know, is there a preference at all in terms of that? Um. Uh, yeah, you know, um, for the most part, sometimes I train with bigger guys. Obviously, I train around guys my weight or guys that, you know, similar to my opponent when the uh, fight comes up. But um, uh, all the guys that I train with are all really great guys. Guys at the highest level of wrestling, guys at the highest level uh, here in, the, in mixed martial arts. So, you know, I got some of the best training partners for any type of fighter I'm going to face. When people think of your name, uh, you know they'll think of you know obviously one one of the top 145 pounders in Bellator, but they also might think of a guy that kind of it, it's you don't you don't see this happen at all. But the fact of it, your your last four fights have gone to a, a split decision. So how how much of just the the mindset in this fight is just kind of trying to to I don't know if the term is to shut people up, but say you know what I'm not, I'm a guy that's a finisher. Well, the truth is, I, I am a guy that's a finisher. I think the biggest thing is sometimes I try to overlook it. Either going for the kill too much, you know, or I'm uh, too over anxious, I guess, going for it. And it, it is, you know, it, it costs me a little bit. Guys are able to survive a little more. But um, I think the biggest thing is just being patient. Then overthink it. Almost like every strike I throw, I'm trying to kill the guy, knock the guy out, you know, or. Uh, it, it, it's uh, it's cost me a little bit, you know, and it's cost me. Thankfully, you know, I still come out with a win, but at the same time, it's time you've got to be patient in there, and it's rough. It's been a it's been a rough road to to to, to live, but also I'm having to study more, uh, train it more. So I'm in training, I'm uh, being patient at the same time, being more explosive. So there's a lot of opportunities that I feel that I've had as well. 
that I didn't capitalize on as well. So knowing when to explode, knowing when to go for the kill, you know, that uh, you got to have that happy medium. In terms of wanting to be a patient fighter and knowing when to, to seize on that opportunity when it is there, is that more of a, a mental thing as opposed to a physical uh, trait? Um, yeah, yeah, I think it uh, it really is. You know, I mean, it's, it's your fight IQ. So, you know, how smart of a fighter you are, you got to know when to uh, to go for the kill as opposed to just trying to just go for it, you know, I mean, if it costs you on um, both ends. And then physically, you know, we, we do strength and conditioning. We do it in training, you know, with striking or wrestling or however we do it. You know, so physically we're already kind of really ready for it. It's just knowing when to use it. And as my, you know, Coach Steve Rufus would say, just knowing when to switch gears. Knowing when, okay, you're in third, you're in a good gear, you're fighting, you're gone, I'm at bat, it's six, and, you know, fight's over. You and Georgie have common opponents and Daniel Vichel and Pat Curran. In preparations for this fight, are those the fights that you mainly pay attention to in looking at Georgie to, to see what his game plan was in those fights compared to what you were trying to accomplish in those fights? Um, yeah, you know, uh, I did. I saw that the, uh, they, they beat him standing and uh, he couldn't uh, take him down. So... Um, that's the the way I see it. I the fight playing out as well. You know, uh, I know he's gonna he's gonna bring it. He's a very uh, durable, uh, tough, just gritty opponent. You know, uh, come forward. He's strong, very strong fighter. But uh, I see myself just uh, being the matador, just not winning on just him not being able to get a beat on me, and uh, weathering the storm on him, putting the storm on him putting something that he can't handle and something that he's not used to. How, how do you make sure, you were talking about how he likes to come forward, how do you make sure that you're the fighter on fight night that's in control of the cage, that the guy that's making him react to you? Is, is there anything in particular that you know you have to do? One thing in particular, I uh, just say fight my fight, you know. Uh, I'm, I'm a ninja, I'm dangerous, I'm a murderer when I'm on the feet, you know, so I know when... Uh, I keep it in my realm, and I keep to where my opponents can't touch me, and that I'm, I'm hitting them, then I know uh, I'm getting my job done, you know? I just kind of keep poking the bear, or keep poking the bull until the bull gets angry and come in and uh, tame the bull. When, when you look back at, at your time so far in Bellator, do you, do you feel like that you haven't shown the best Emmanuel Sanchez there is? Do you kind of feel like there's been glimpses, but you haven't, shown completely the type of fighter you are? Uh, 100%. You know, I can go back and like watch my fights and I think, all right, well, this is how training went for that one. This is what happened for that one. This is what happened for this one. And I'm still, you know, I'm still learning. I'm still growing, you know. Uh, I don't have, I didn't have the luxury of like what a lot of other fighters did, like right from the get-go or the beginning. You know, I still had a full-time job. You know, going into uh, until I signed with Bellator, and then even and then I was still growing in Bellator. You know, and the way I see it is, you know, I've had my moments of of uh, shining, and even with my you know losses to Kern and Vichel, I feel like I still you know put on some of the toughest fights they've had all throughout Bellator. So. You know, uh, I feel like I've proved myself. I've got myself in now. And I'm, okay, I'm in the contender, but, you know, I know I can be the champion. They know I can be the champion, and the promotion knows I can be a champion. Uh, it's not just a matter of saying, oh, hey, yeah, he fought this guy, this guy, you know, some of the top guys. I'm not here to say I just here to fuck these guys. I'm here to say I beat these guys, and I'm the champion of the division. How far away do you think you are from the title? Well, you know, I fought the former champion. I'm just face the guy who fought for the title and now I'm about to face the guy who is supposed to fight for the title uh, coming in. So um, I feel like uh, a very dominant win over Georgie, maybe one more. If not, you know, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll see. We'll see how it plays out. But uh, I definitely believe we're going to win or two. Yes, a uh, uh, shot at the title. And you're going to be able to see Emmanuel take on Georgie Carhani in the main card of Bellator 170 coming up next Saturday night, January 21st from Inglewood, California. Of course, headlined by Tito Ortiz taking on Shell Sun. Also, you got Paul Daly against Brent Ward. Emmanuel, as always, I appreciate time and good luck next week. Thank you very much. Have a great day.